Hi and welcome. In this video I will attempt to demonstrate the capabilities of the Resonate Central Dispatch product. Central Dispatch is uh, a local load balancer or application controller. And what I mean by local is that within a given data center pop or location it will take a pool of servers that have the Resonate software installed and will create a, a virtual server out of that pool such that all of the members in that pool can participate in answering the requests coming into that virtual server. In this regard, all of the, uh, all of the member servers or content nodes um, behave as one. And in the example I'm about to demonstrate, I, um, I'm working with, uh, with this DC club that you see in the lower right hand corner. I will take three servers, uh, 131-club, 132-club, and 133-club, and I will configure them and build a cluster using the central dispatch product such that all three will answer and act as one server that I will call 130-club. Uh, the 131-club server serves up the Resonate logo in blue. The 132 server serves up that logo in gold. And 133 serves it up in red. Now each of these, each of these content servers has the Resonate image sliced into 49 distinct tiles that you may or may not be able to, uh, to distinguish um, because of the quality of this video. So what the, what the load balancer should do, what Central Dispatch should do, is it should load balance each of those 49 squares such that when you, when you go to the shared IP address, the 130 address, you should see not a single color but a combination of the three colors um, displayed in the fans. So if, uh, if we toggle over to uh, this, this last tab, you'll see an example of that page. And as I refresh, what you should perceive is that the, the relative colors within the fan appear to be changing uh, or appear to be moving. So each refresh brings about the, the rendering of the Resonate fans, but the colors seem to move. And that's uh, actually because the different servers are answering for each of those tile locations. This example has been an example using HTTP, but we could have just as easily have created um, other, other scheduling rules for HTTPS, FTP, um, any, any TCP protocol or IP protocol, basically any protocol that you can identify in terms of an IP address and port combination, we would be able to configure it to be load balanced. I am demonstrating HTTP because uh, HTTP um, by default is not sticky in that it does not, um, it does not uh, persist to a single server, whereas had I demonstrated HTTPS, you would see a single server or a single color for the fans because the very nature of HTTPS implies server affinity or persistence in that the request is meant to be answered by a single server. 